Let, let's talk about consumer behavior in this world then. Alex, I'm curious, you know, you guys had 100 million check-ins last year. So that's, that's, you know, me either listening to a piece of music or reading a book and saying, this is what I'm doing, I'm going to share this with somebody. It's not unlike, um, you know, uh, the sort of implicit behavior that happens when I listen to Spotify, which is connected to my Facebook account. What, what user behavior are you seeing downstream? Does anyone, th does that, does, does anyone care that I'm, you know, reading this book and do they click and at what rate? Yeah, I think, so what, what I discovered that's really interesting is sort of users on GetGlue are curating their own uh, media consumption. So if you take music, um, I think a common pattern is, you know, you would listen routinely to a lot of music, but only some of the music you really get hooked on, and then you become obsessed with it. And the obsession on Get Glue manifests itself like you repetitively check into the same artist. And the other really interesting thing, I think, is as opposed to, you know, just automatically publishing everything, which is interesting in its own right, um, users on Get Glue choose what to publish every time. So it's, it's my choice, it's my gesture, it's meaningful to There's me right implicit. now. It's nothing implicit. It's not implicit. So I think that it's, it's powerful that way. And I can tell you, you know, we're seeing the behavior where uh, people are discovering music through each other because it's obvious that a friend gets obsessed with a band. How are you measuring that? How do you know people are discovering music? Well, you can see, for example, a person checking in and then you can see uh, their friends start talking about it and start checking into it. So it's the basic network effect where people discover stuff through each other. 